Good morning, science learners! Welcome to another science learning episode for quarter three, week six. For today's video lesson, we will discuss the path of light. At the end of this video, you are expected to describe how light travels. But before we begin, let me check your science notebook, ball pen, and please take note of the important concepts of our today's lesson. Are you all ready? Great! Class, can you still recall our past lesson? Amazing! Good. Let me check your understanding of our past lesson by answering this quick review. You may write your answer below this video. Direction. Rearrange the jumbled letters to form a word. Good job, kids! Last time, you learned about heat transfer. Heat is the transfer of energy from one object to another or from an energy source to an object. You learned that heat transfer can occur in three ways. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Have you tried walking in a dark room? Were you able to walk properly? Walking in the dark room is not easy. You cannot see the things or objects inside the room. This may cause you to trip or fall. That's why light is very important to us. Do you know what light is? Light is a form of electromagnetic radiation that can be seen by the human eye. Light contains photons which are minute packets of energy. We can divide the sources of light into two, natural light and artificial light. Natural light are those which are not man-made, like sun, stars, fireflies, and meteors. What about the moon? The moon is not the natural source of light because it only reflects the light that comes from the sun. Artificial light source are man-made. These are electric lights, bulb, candlelight, and flashlight. Light behaves as a wave. It's like you are throwing a stone in the water, and the water makes little waves around it. Light waves travel in straight lines called waves. It always travels in a straight line when going through a single medium. Any substances through which a light wave can travel. In some media, such as air, Light travels quickly. In other media, such as water in glass, light travels more slowly. Look at the illustration. It shows that light travels in a straight line. But when one of the cardboards is not aligned with other cardboards, the light would not pass through the other cardboards. The cardboards block the path of light. When a light wave encounters an object, they are either reflected, absorbed, refracted, or transmitted depending on the composition of the object and the wavelength of the light. Let us learn more about these terms, reflection, 
absorption, refraction, and transmission. When light hits an object and bounces off a bit, we say it reflects. Reflection is when light bounces off an object. If the surface is smooth and shiny like glass, water, or polished metal, the light will reflect at the same angle as it hit the surface. But when the light rays strike a rough surface, it reflects in different directions. Diffusion is the scattering of light. Absorption is the process in which light is absorbed and converted into energy. Dark or black objects absorb more light and feel harder than lighter or white objects. For example, a red apple is reflecting red light and absorbing all other colors of light. Now class, let us observe the appearance of the pencil in a glass of water. The pencil appears to be broken. This appearance shows that light is bent as it passes from air to the glass of water. Light bends as it passes from some objects when viewed at an angle. The light travels slower in the water and the glass than in the air. As the light changes speed, it changes direction, resulting in what appears to be bending of light. The bending of light is called refraction. Refraction is the bending of light as it travels from one type of materials to another like from air to water. Transmission, it refers to passing of light through some materials. Not all materials block or let the light pass through it. Transparent, translucent, and opaque all describe how certain objects allow visible lights to travel through them. Transparent materials allow all of the light to pass through. Here are the examples of transparent materials. Translucent materials allow some light to pass through them. Here are the examples of translucent materials. Opaque materials do not allow any of the light to pass through them. Here are the examples of opaque materials. Now class, I want you to get your science book and ball pen and answer the following activities. 